Cleveland, Ohio, the Browns won't be on HBO's Hard Knocks this year, but we do have a behind-the-scenes look at the team thanks to the Building the Browns series. Episode 2 aired Sunday on WEWSCH5 and the Browns' YouTube channel. Viewers got to see Browns coaches and front office folks at the NFL Combine, go along on a visit to Kentucky's Pro Day and see the team's free agent acquisitions visit Berea for the first time. You can watch the entire episode in the video at the top of this post. Here are three takeaways. Kitchen's building relationship Seth Freddie Kitchen seems like an approachable guy, and he proved that he is during the Combine in Indianapolis earlier this year. As cameras followed Kitchens on his way to do media interviews, a fan introduced himself, pointing out that he has had season tickets since 1992, after a quick photo, I wish I was better looking, Kitchens said, the fan said, see you in September. I'll be in section, 102 if you need me, I'll be down there on the field if you need me. Kitchens said. We're in it together, right? You better believe it, as Kitchens continued his walk to the media room, he explained how interactions like that are part of the job, this is the relationship business from the top down, he said. The quicker you realize that the more beneficial it can be as far as interactions with other coaches, management and players and all that kind of stuff, eyes behind the scenes so I see a lot of Kitchen and John Dorsey. But Sunday's episode allowed others to have a voice, including Alonzo Highsmith, Vice President of Player Personnel, and Elliot Wolf, Assistant GM. Both were at the Combine to check out potential draft picks and provided some insight into the process. Highsmith pointed out how he and his scouts begin watching and meeting players early in their college careers, I knew Nick Chubb since he was a freshman. I've been watching Baker since he was a sophomore in college. Highsmith said. You go to practice and talk to coaches and you kind of already have a feel. I knew Baker Mayfield but I didn't know everything about him, last year. Then as you get to know him and be around him you really saw who he is and what he is, Wolf pointed out this year's draft will be different from last year's, last year was unique from the standpoint of we can get whoever we want with the first pick, Wolf said. The secrecy with which we wanted to keep the first overall pick, and I think the main reason for that is we also had four. If we hadn't had four, secrecy wouldn't have been that big of a deal. But we had four, and picked the two guys we really coveted there. This year there's just more unknown, sharp-dressed man cameras caught the Browns' 2019 free agent signees arriving in Berea for the first time. The group in included Sheldon Richardson, Demetrius Harris, Adarius Taylor and Eric Cush. While Richardson, Harris and Taylor were dressed casual, Cush was in a brown suit. Known more for his extensive collection of tank tops, as featured on Hard Knocks in 2016, Cush impressed Dorsey, look at ya. Dorsey said, as he adjusted Cush's tie, Freddie said, if you don't wear orange and brown, you ain't one of us. Dorsey told the group, at Brown's insider texts in your phone from Mary Kay Cabot, cut through the clutter of social media and communicate directly with the award-winning Brown's reporter, just like you would with your friends. It's just $3.99 a month, which works out to about 13 cents a day. Learn more and sign up here.